Hello YouTube, it's about 7.30, very nice weather, uh, I decided I need to go and do something in my garden and I decided you need to go with me, so let's dig into it. So uh, we're going to do the walkthrough, but before, uh, many times this is my happiness from my really good friend Anna and I'm calling it my happiness because that's the name of this vanda if you guys follow me from long time ago you know I was always laughing happiness number something 18 I think <laughs> I was laughing at it very very long time and then Anna surprised me with the plant she is still working on opening but it's a gorgeous vanda gorgeous so before we gonna go i want to repot something so what i was saying people ask me how do you do it so we're gonna do it with you so there's no more questions and you have it in front of you let's see what's blooming these totems are so good the plants love them they just go crazy on them i'll tell you this was i put on just i don't know like two weeks maybe ago look this one this one was a dying uh phalaenopsis i put it on some time ago i'd say two months ago and look it doesn't it stop those suicidal thoughts and it's a uh, really really taken off them oh somebody's touching me then there was one oh the one that i want to show you is the the uh, one i got at cruel smith store tiana come on phone and they are not very grower friendly they they are very stubborn so this one son i thought there will be no sun by now but the sun is here look a new root and two new leaves great also on the spaghetti i do have them on my website by the way if you uh want to go and shop right now the website is fully loaded with different product so this little one is doing so nice this is purple martin phalaenopsis of course uh what else in here yeah me and martha are going to disney so we'll be absent for a little bit it's our thing we do for her birthday i want to take her there until she's still a baby she really can enjoy somebody was walking around here um you know princesses and stuff before anything else will happen i'm not gonna go in there <laughs> yeah so miss martha is getting a special treat she's going to disney with her mama and so i'm kind of walking through checking my beautiful caribbean queen from brethren blooming on the caribbean queen orchid tree see there's one working on it and there's two blooming there was uh, three but she decided she doesn't want to be here now this i'm telling you i put on this what maybe two three weeks ago completely attached already i think we have a an appearance there of the superstar yes she is coming and this is my beautiful bell Dry rack bell. Hello. Hi. Miss Almost Birthday Girl. Yep. Where are you going? Disney. What are you going to do there? We're going to go to Magic Kingdom and Epcot. Lucky, lucky you and me. Yep. Yeah, I, I say that that's for her, but you know, <laughs> maybe not only. Okay, who do we have here? This Lady Jane is opening and the Vanda tube also. There's a lot of them on my website right now. Look at those roots going crazy. 
beautiful. So purpley. It reminds me a lot of a lilac. And I'm kind of positive that the name is something lilac. I cannot see the tag. She is very, very, like, not large. Very cute. And, of course, the roots love their pot. Look at that root work in there. When you get this uh, type of, we call them orchid tubes, you can put any kind of orchid, but originally was created for vandas. You just stick them in there, and the uh, a wire will hold it in, and then the plants usually uh, get connected to the pot really quick. See, there's lots of action in there. Oh, here's one more Vanda tube for you, but this is Dendrobium, or the Jersey Eye, from Miranda Orchids. Also, see, I just stuck it in there, and it's happy, happy in there. That's the second year on it. So, that works great, because uh, you will never have a overwatering issue in there. Lots of openings in there. And also, I know I have a bunch of those on my website. Now, I want to show you this one. I love this one. This is my favorite Brussavola. So, thanks to that crazy dog of mine by the name Bruce, I had this garden Buddha girl. He knocked her down and he broke her head. So, I could not throw her away. I stuck this uh, Brussavola. The name is... Uh, Seagull Surf. It's uh, Nadosa and... Uh, uh, what is it? Nadosa and... Forbesia. Yeah, Forbesia Cross. Very delicate flowers. And this year, it's really on fire blooming. Love this girl. So literally, you can use anything that is... Organic clay for mounting. They love it. This guy, it's a dendrobium that blooms non-stop. It's in between blooms. There's a, I think, a baby from it. it doesn't look like his baby, but we'll keep it there. Dendrobium, whatever, tree, something. Constantly blooms. Little white flowers, and it's gorgeous. And if you like the taco, again, I'm going to be plugging myself in today all day long. Why not? Who doesn't need the sales? Uh, I have the terracotta uh, tacos, we call them, over there available. So, then, oh, of course, we have another bloom from Landati. And this girl is a showstopper. Catlia Landati. So fragrant. You have no idea. I just watered all of them. I was at work today. Grooming dogs. And of course. Nobody loved my babies. This by the way. Another example of how these spaghetti mounts work. So. This is a super fancy Lelia. That I almost killed. Right here is the confirmation but then my always last chance for the orchid is the spaghetti mount or any of my mounts that the clay mounts the totems and look what's happening i mean literally and there's one new growth you see though there this thing was down to like one root and here we are this one also uh sherry styles from Sun Coast also was a seedling doing great now I had this beautiful dendrobium if you remember and you know how if you like them so much something always happens and I know I don't know who it was I came and it was laying on the ground so somebody bit it so that must be my iguanas getting fancy and starting making bouquets for their caves 
so you are doing good you are doing good let's go see what else we have here So we're slowly moving to my repotting department by the way somebody asked how is the big mama doing here she is and i responded that she lives on the chair as up right now one of the reasons i don't have a space for her i don't know where to put her as you can see there's lots of action on her bug wise good bugs ants and stuff but she is about to bloom on her sitting on her chair. Uh, she's okay. I mean, she she looks fine. But I need to create some kind of space for her because there is no space for her. She's so big. I lost all my trees. And here, look who we have here. Isn't she something? This one I bought from John Baudry when he was our speaker at Venice Orchid Society. That's why I strongly suggest to join societies because you will get these speakers come to you with their plants versus you going to the shows, which are fun, but it will be delivered to you. Renanthera Red, that's not the tag. He had another tag more specific than that. No, nah, Renantara Red. No, there was... A, ah, there it is. Oh, God, I didn't notice that. I don't know. I think Bangkok Flame is not red, but maybe. Who knows? So. Beautiful. And she's still working on opening everything. Renantara's, there's no other orchid that has this color. This color is simply insane beautiful girl I'll tell you it's pure, pure torture right now here my neighbors are <laughs> doing barbecue <laughs> that smells here like oh so good but then you can't have it okay these guys are doing good my Whatever he is, I don't think I have a tag. One of the catacetums is working on the blooms. And right here, everyone is just sitting staring at me pretty. Right? Right. Okay, so what's the plan? So, I made some of these big basket pots that are usually very popular. Also, right now, there are a couple of them available on my website. They're large, very open. This one has just one more sign on it. And I've decided I need, finally, to give some attention and love to these boys and girls. There are some kind of oncidium um, crosses that are absolutely gorgeous, but I totally abandoned them. So, let's dig in. So, what is the plan? You can see it grew out of the pot a long time ago. They're kind of traveling orchids. And all of that inside of the pot is not good anymore. So, I'm going to just go and chop them. Where that new growth and new roots. Same over here. You kind of can go through it and see where, where the life to the orchid starts so right here very twisted like you can see new growth so I'm gonna chop it there they're like meaty they're not like crunchy <laughs> there's meat on those and I love always to clean this up because all it does this one is dead okay here Keith I saw how he handles it. If you guys haven't seen my video visiting Keith's garden, you better. I think it's the funniest video I've ever had. He is just... 
he's just such a good guy and we are such a good match with him with our sense of humor and stuff so here it is okay two and then i think there's right here again you see you can see the new one and the old one so i cut it right there boom and this one is very chubby but again let's look for the right there i'm going in right here you see me right there okay very like i said not that easy there there's lots of like a texture in there so we have this left what am i gonna do with it i'm gonna stick it up some tree and see what happens okay but for now we got one and i'm like i said i'm gonna clean all of that you can cut it or peel it whatever works for you but why so that bacteria and moisture doesn't get uh, you know that beautiful um, help me with words um, environment there I spit it out my brain is a little slow you know all of that comes off probably I should even but I'll this one I'll take off as well no, easy peasy maybe this too okay boom done okay so one I'm gonna clean this and then we're gonna put it in a big pot and again I went to the orchid meeting which was Sarasota Orchid Society and an amazing speaker was Bill Nunes uh, many of you know Bill I mentioned him if you watched my uh, video from West Coast Orchid Society he was in there he's amazing grower really funny guy very sweet person very good friend so he suggested and he I never knew about it some people do know like uh, the speech was these are going away as well speech was about how to grow the big plants the uh, specimen sized plants you know like whenever you hear people say don't overpot your orchids but the specimen plant you know only will be big and healthy if you don't move it so we have this basket it's pretty large and bill showed us a trick so pretty much you know we have these guys i'll put them in there it will be overpotted so what am i gonna do what bill suggested right here at the base you put a pot plastic pot you cut lots of holes in it put it in there and then you add your medium around and then you put the orchid on the top of it which will create like an air uh, bubble in there and the orchid will never rot that's one of the reasons why you don't want to overpot your orchid because it will never dry out and you will have bacteria and you have a root rot and all that yucky stuff so let's do this so we put it in the middle and then we go and put make sure this thing doesn't move my attempt number two the first one i use really bad words because this thing was moving so lava rock so they're drainage for your large pot so are we gonna now since the pot is the little pot is kind of secure in there you're gonna want it to okay and then then you can put your regular media on the top he also suggested i don't have it to put between this 
and the regular media a little layer of uh, coconut um, fiber so it kind of separates them I don't have it so I'll just gonna put a little bit of a mix like you know whatever you prefer everybody has their mixes and I'll put what I have in there so and then you cover it after you know that you cover it with the media of your choice uh, Bill also suggested to put in between a little layer of coconut fiber a very thin layer so it kind of separates two different um, medias but I didn't have it so I put it in there what kind of mix whatever you prefer for your growing um, this one has everything it has clay it has charcoal so you know the mix that I have available and now we're gonna add the plants so I literally just stuck them in there for now and I'm gonna use my favorite method to um, secure the plant inside is the sticks and uh, you know how you go through let's do this so you literally gonna stick it in there let it come out there Put it over the plant and secure it on the other side. Let me put it in and then I'll show you the final. So literally, I put it in there through the plant and then I put it in another hole, okay? So here we are. The plant is really secure. You'll see I'm walking with it. It's in a nice pot, which is large and it will give this plant lots of time to be happy and voila I really liked I never seen that trick with a little pot inside we'll see how it will work this is a very very pretty oncidium cross I call it a giraffe it's like pinkish with spots so wish us both luck and again if you like the spot I do have them on my website available. I don't have them very often available, so go ahead and shop away. And since I am on the roll, I have this plant. I got it at the, was it Ridge? I think Ridge Orchid Society when I was a speaker there at the raffle table. There's lots of action on it. I think it's time for me to attach it to the mount corner something BLC again I decide I'll put it on one of my terracotta totems lots of texture in here beautiful stuff so how we do it we put it on look which way the new growth is so I would put it out take a zip tie and tie it and voila so here we are zip tight gorgeousness right here you can clip it uh, I will clean a little better the old roots just uh, cut them off make sure you disinfect your clippers between the plants and here we are one more mount so let's go and find a hook for this new baby and I want to show you something else that I was looking for. Where are my hooks? Only God knows. Okay, we're gonna find you a hook. You guys remember my, whatever Marta calls us, something fancy, tunnel, let's say. And I had this encyclia here <laughs> that would not open for the love of God. Guess what? It did open. cool huh she is beautiful i still don't know her name it's a, some kind of species so if you guys have an idea let me know our aruba spotted beauty is kind of what keith would say blooming out but i think she's still 
absolutely stunning. So, this is, I think, it. I move my African girl over here and my big dude. This one is also almost done. Yeah, so uh, one thing I wanted to address. Here's, by the way, that dendrobium from um, Palmer's open house. Look, it's in the taco as well. I just love the foliage. It's really cool. I received an email from a wonderful person. I'm not mad or anything. I just want to explain something. The person was asking me or suggesting that I go and make videos like on schedule. That would be great if I would <laughs> make my living off of it. Uh, let me tell you guys, this is my hobby. I love doing it. I love sharing stuff with you. But this channel is not financed by anything but my other job there are if you if you want you can always help financially it's there are a couple of options it's all in the description uh in the, in that light i would like to absolutely mention 300 times and say thank you very much a million times to my three hardcore supporters there are the sponsors of this channel rick Debra and Zelina, you guys, thank you so, so much. Nobody has to, but they, since day one, they are there. They are my uh, patrons on Patreon. That's where you can financially help this channel if you want to thrive. So what I wanted to say, uh, I'm doing it because I like doing it. It's not because I am living off of it. So I can only do this much here's my coffee from brethren i really love your support and i promise i'll be trying to make as much as i can but you know life is life stuff happens this is one from mike i think you've seen it mike mims blue ridge so if i could i would love to do it like for a living but apparently then my kids would be very skinny. Me too. Maybe that's one way to lose weight for me. I've been fighting it for the longest time. So this is it. I'll try to do better with more content. But, you know, it all depends on the, the other parts of my life. So me and Marta going to Disney tomorrow. You guys staying all by yourself. By the way, here is the opening it's gorgeous beautiful phalaenopsis from norman that was his gift to me it's very very pretty it's not open completely yet yeah so you guys have a good day without us <laughs> but i think maybe we'll do a video if we will be there somewhere but i don't think uh Disney, the part that we're going has any orchids in there. Okay, so have a good one. Thank you very much. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Marta is not here. She didn't tell us. She will be mad. So have a good day.